we're here today with Adi Pollock talking about her new amazing book that I, I really love, and it is all about doing machine learning with Spark. Um, so why did I write the book? So I guess I should go back to my personal experience. I started my career as a machine learning researcher. I worked for different labs and I remember, I still remember the whole good days of Mahout and Hadoop uh, <laughs> and also some Theresius uh, algorithms that's uh, from uh, essentially sequence uh, algorithms uh, in C++, which wasn't part of the Hadoop space, but still I was able to bring it to a performance where we could run it on big data. The book starts with, hey, here are all the functionalities you have with Spark, here's how you automated things. And while you're working at it, you can also leverage a lot of the pre-work that you did with Spark on pre-processing and analytics and bridge into PyTorch and TensorFlow, leveraging Petastorm. It gives you kind of like a caching capabilities or kind of a translator between Perkett and the rest of the ecosystem. This book is not just about Spark, obviously. It's about Spark inside of an ecosystem. How did you pick the other tools that you... Uh, included in this sort of ecosystem to use alongside Spark. And I don't think there is a company in the world that does analytics or data processing that is not using Spark in some constellation. How can we leverage the data infrastructure, the rest of the company uh, and the people that can come together to really develop state-of-the-art machine learning and make sure we are delivering it to production on time. Uh, which, you know, are two different world, worlds at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. It's like one of them is, oh, I can build this amazing model. And the other one, how do I get it to production? PyTorch and TensorFlow, those were tools that people were, were frequently using and but struggling with using them alongside Spark when, when you were writing the book, yeah? Yeah, especially around the data. So I devoted a whole chapter for feature engineering uh, with Spark and the whole thought process around how do you engineer these features and why you need to leverage kind of like pipelines and different automation. So these will act the same in production. There are challenges, of course, around running the actual Spark cluster in staging environment versus production. It gives an holistic view and dives into the important areas that where people are usually missing on connecting things. To me, it feels like your book is sort of a book which explains to both sides like, hey, this is what these people are trying to do and this is how they can do it. and and. It's not going to fix the fact that, you know, we've got data engineers and data scientists and machine learning folks all doing their own thing. But I think to me, it, it develops a lot of like empathy and understanding as well as the technical skills. And I think that's that's really awesome. Subscribe to the GoTo YouTube channel now and join the experts in person or online at any upcoming GoTo conference using the promo code BOOKCLUB. Visit gotopia.tech to learn more.